Hello guys, this is Varad Kulkarni over here and today in this video we are going to start our new video series on one of my favorite IoT development board that is Texas Instruments CC2650 sensor tag. A device which has a ton of interesting features in just a small size. I have been using this device since couple of years so thought of sharing this knowledge with you. So without wasting time, let's get started. So guys, basically there are two different models of sensor tag. One based on CC2541 which looks like this and second one is based on CC2650. This offers 10 different sensors on board like IR temperature sensor, motion sensor, humidity sensor, magnetometer etc. It is perfect to use the device for quick prototyping of new kinds of fitness applications, various sensor based alarms interaction devices that uses accelerometer or gyroscope, game controllers, smartwatch prototypes, sports sensor and much more. For all this, mobile applications plays a central role to display information to the end user. Now let's have a look at hardware. So guys, this is how sensor tag looks. It comes in a red box of almost 4 cm by 4 cm of size, which has two push buttons on both sides and a TI logo on the front side. Well now let's take this box out. Here we can see a PCB enclosed in a another plastic box which has a transparent side on the front end. Let's move this and get the PCB out. Now here is the main PCB on which CC2650 is placed. On the back side we can see a cell and on the front side we can see a sensor tag main controller that is CC2650 and a PCB antenna, optical sensor, magnetometer and few sensors and on the back side we can see a battery, a JTAG interface and few external pins to connect with debugger and all. Well, to program this, we need a dev pack or debugger. So, to program this, I am using debug dev pack which is based on XDS110 emulator. Now, here are a few pinouts given to interface external sensors with sensor tag and here are few pins which we can use to connect with sensor tag board. So, we just need to match the pinout and press the both boards and yes we are almost done now we can upload our own code into sensor tag sensor tag app is available for both android and apple devices we will have a demo on android app let's power the sensor tag module and open the app we can see the sensor tag device Let's click on it and see what we are getting inside. Now here we can see all sensor data that is coming up right from the device. Now here you can see the change in lux meter data. As I am moving my hand over sensor tag, we can see changes in graph of lux meter. So if I move the device, we can see the change in motion sensor data. Along with this, we can also see the push button events and other sensor stuff. One more feature is we can change the sampling rate of each sensor through this app itself. So let's try it for motion sensor. By default this is 1 second. Let's change it to 500 millisecond. And here we can see the data coming in a faster rate. Along with this one more advantage of using TI's product is we have great support of community. You can share any doubt regarding this and there are really great people who will help you to solve your problem. So that's it for this video guys, in upcoming video we will see how we can get started with sensor tag and all required softwares. Till then, bye bye.